Fox Beach. Welcome back. David Brenner, Jimmy McDonald with you live on Probox from the Mansfield Leisure Centre. And it's time now for the debut of a young man who is really, no exaggeration here, a terrific amateur. Some say he's turned professional too early. Well, we'll be the judge of that before very long. Prince Nassim Hamed. He's fighting Ricky Beard, who we've seen many, many times before on Probox, and we know that he is a very tough customer. This young man from Dagenham in Essex. I'll just give you an early reminder. Don't be surprised by how dramatic the entrance of Nassim Hamid might be. He's known for it throughout the amateurs for being really outrageous. And in some terms, for people who really follow the boxing game, a British version of Hector Macho Camacho. This I want to see. see. This I want to see. Seven national school boy titles for Hamid. Junior ABA titles as well. You know, David's the first flyweight in many years to turn professional with national press exposure. And if he does as well as the last one to turn professional with the same credentials, it's Charlie Magri, who we know went all the way on to become world champion. Here is Prince Nassim Hamed, his debut. Well, you know, we've launched the careers of Chris Eubank and Herbie Hyde on Pro Box. And this might just be a young man to join that dynamic duo. We shall see. Here comes the top right jump. In Ricky Beard, he faces a guy who won't be intimidated. In Ricky's mind, he'll be going to well, win by the knockout. He really is a pretty determined, fighter. Eight stone, two pounds over six, three minute rounds. Introducing in the red corner with the blue and the gold shorts from Dagenham, Ricky Beard. And Ricky Beard, as Jimmy says, will and not be in the slightest bit impressed by that entrance, but it looks good. Prince Nassim <laughs> You know, the only thing with me with Nassim, I'd like to see Nassim compete in the Senior ABA Championships and, and go to the Olympic the Games because these are the kind of credentials they've been speaking about. Tonight, he boxed over three minute rounds for the first time in his career as a professional. And when we think he's 18 and can't fight for the British Championship till he's 21, then maybe that view will be shared by many people in the sport. Paul Thomas, another referee that we've seen up two times on Pro Box, most latterly when he disqualified Eamon Lochran up in Bury against Tony Akubia. Brave decision that. So Paul Thomas is not a man to be trifled with. And any little bits of gamesmanship that Hamed tries, I'm sure that Paul Thomas will come down with him quite hard. Round one then. And that seems a southpaw, but he's very unorthodox and throws punches off either foot and either hand. Very, very fast hands. And Ricky Beard, he won his two first two professional fights inside the distance. And since then, six defeats and a draw. And he's a far better fighter than that record suggests. Far better. And Ricky can punch for far back as well. He carries absolutely, good, good power in the Absolutely. Ryan. And Nassim needs to remember that. And his first three minutes of this round is very important for Nassim to get out of his system. And despite all his experience in the junior ranks and so forth, you know, this is like his first fight again, really, on, in the professional ranks. You know, he mixes and trains and always has done with the likes of Bomber Ground, Johnny Nelson, to name but so. It's a tough fight for your first pro fight, this. Very much so. There's that right hand. He caught Nassim, bang on. Well, he can take shot. He certainly proved it there because Ricky hit him bang on the chin there. He come back firing. Good sign. You need to stay tight. And interestingly enough, these rounds are three minute and not two minute duration. There's that right hand again. That may take a little bit of flamboyance away from that scene. Well, I hope so, for his sake. Great comeback. I like to see, you know, it's not always the top juniors that make it into top professionals and, and if it goes a few rounds, three or four, I'd be interested to see and that's in Copes. Right hand knockdown. That was a touchdown. Pure speed. Just briefly. Paul Thomas waves it on.
Williams seems starting to relax a little bit now. That'll give him a great deal of confidence. Not that he lacks confidence anyhow. Well, the only fighter to beat Ricky Beard inside the distance is Robbie Regan. He's the British champion, let's not forget. Absolutely. Ricky doing the right thing, staying cool. He'll be looking to load up on the right end. Fascinating first three minutes. He's certainly very, very quick. Quick and very confident. A lot of raw edges. Mark you, he's only 18. Let's not, not, let's not, let's not too forget. Much. And he will feel a lot better after that. I'm sure he will. Prince Nassim Hamed. There are not too many Asian boxers in this country, and it's good to see them making the mark. And let's let's wish Nassim Hamed luck in his professional career on the on the strength of one round. Absolutely, it's stupidity itself to start saying, well, the kid is great, but not a bad round at all to start your pro career. Let's take a look at the right with Deck Ricky Beard briefly. That's the right, and Ricky Beard landed on Nassim, and as you said, Dave, it's proved already that the kid's got a good chin because. Ricky can whack, but as you see Nassim here, he's looking to move into position, looking to unload his shots of his own, and he does them with such great speed. Here you see the accuracy, two booming shots, and Ricky took a brief can. In the first three minutes of Nassim's career, in their history. If he starts to relax now and flow, we may see what they've been talking about. The speed, the power, and the class. You know, Ricky, as I said, is not intimidated, and he's shown that yet again with that right hand there. You can see Nassim arrogantly saying no from Ricky Landy shots, but fascinating matchup. Good fight. Little smear of blood underneath Beard's nose. Ricky Beard grinning back at Nassim. He's enjoying this. Are we all matching for gamesmanship? Don't worry about that. I always like Ricky Beard, he's a 100% wholehearted fighter. Absolutely. I say, tough practicing for Nassim, particularly if it goes beyond the third round. It'd be interesting to see, because Ricky always gets himself in good shape. And he'll relax as well. And the physical advantage is that Ricky possesses over Nassim. They're absolutely phenomenal. He's taller, longer. He looks like a whole division above him, really. He does, you're right. And good. You can almost sense the frustration he feels because he can't get near him at the moment. Good shot. Body shot. Found with arrogance. That was a good shot on Ricky. He'll do well to get over it. It really took the wind out of his sails. And that's all over. <laughs> Well, the light young man doing his flips for all to see. <laughs> I shall reserve judgment on this young man, but he is not a bad little kid, I tell you. And you can't knock him for his debut. Not many people have done that to Ricky Beard. That is not a bad debut at all.
he is delighted. Brendan Ingle, wise old fox that he is, saying just just cool it a little bit. So not to make it say though, okay, so that's good news. Yeah, just took the wind right out of his sails. Good shot. And only got hit with that one. And I know all about it. <laughs> well, he's a got, real showman. He's got energy to burn, hasn't he? Well, we shall, I'm sure, be seeing Nassim Hamad on Pro Box again. I hope we see Ricky Beard again. He He'll make good win, television. Must win sooner or later. He'll make good television, little Naz. Like I said, we brought you the professional debut of a young Herbie Hyde. We picked up Chris Eubanks' career very early, but you look at this body shot because you will not see many better this year, Jimmy. It's the leverage he gets into it, Dave. There you see him setting Ricky up and bang, right through the middle. The gap was very small and minute, but he picked it out, dissected where it was going to go, and it landed, and the result was there for all to see. Well, like I said, it's doing Nassim Ahmed no favours, and it's certainly doing you at home no favours to say, oh, this young man is a, a future champion. We'll know after two or three fights what he's got, but Ricky Beard, a good opponent, and he dealt with him very well. We shall chart his future progress with great interest.